I'm actually quite excited for today because it's the first time that we've let someone into our home to kind of see all the pieces that we've collected over the years. Um, so it's quite special. <laughs> Hi West Wing, I'm Bettina Looney and welcome to my house. My husband and I chose this home. We were wanting to start a family. So we thought it was time to kind of have a home that we could call our own. And we absolutely fell in love with this space because you're in the center of the city, but you also have some outdoor space, which is quite nice. And it's a quintessential London home, I would say. And we're having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> I think fashion and decoration, uh, you know, definitely are related. I think it's all about, you know, with clothes, it's tailored to, you know, someone's liking and their body shape and what makes them feel confident and comfortable. And I think your space and, you know, furniture and it kind of describes you as a person as well. And um, I think it's very similar in a sense. I would say this space is our formal living room, but we still wanted to make it quite functional and cozy at the same time. Uh, but it's probably one of my favorite rooms in the entire house. This piece actually has traveled with us from place to place, and it's still, I think, one of my favorite pieces in our home. And a very good friend of ours was the one who painted it, so that obviously makes it a little bit more special as well. I would say my favorite West Wing piece would be the Stanley chair. This, I'm like obsessed with this chair. <laughs> Actually, this whole section is West Wing, which I absolutely love. When we travel, I try to source like different ceramics from different places. Like these I found in a really small town in Sicily called Chicli um, in a ceramic shop. So, you know, I'll like, Carlos gets, he's like, what are you doing? But I'll lug as much as I can back to London with me. I'd say this is probably one of my favorite corners of the house. My husband and I both work from this desk. I just love all of the colors and palettes that are here. And I just think it has a really nice feel. You get so much light in this area as well. So when you're working, it's quite peaceful. And you also hear the birds outside from the garden. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. So this is the coolest piece I think that we own, but this is an old record player that I'm obsessed with. And I like that it's quite, you know, you can't, you don't really know what's in here. Um, and we could be absolute fools from the person that sold it to us, but he said that this was actually in the apartment of the Beatles that lived here. And when we're out here having coffees, we'll sit out, put a record on, This is our bedroom and I like to keep it quite minimal. It's still a work in progress. But I think one of my favorite features in our bedroom would have to be this rounded arch, which then goes into another arch into our bathroom. And then I obviously, the old finishing on the ceiling are one of my favorite key pieces in here too. And this is my wardrobe here. I love that you have mirrors on both sides. It's just like easy when you're getting ready really quickly, you can kind of see yourself and go. This is my son's room. And this is the room I had obviously the most fun decorating and putting together. This piece I absolutely loved and it's of a mother and a son, so I thought it was quite appropriate. This is a vintage piece that I found. It's a really lovely, crib and obviously I know that it's probably very short-lived because he's getting bigger very quickly <laughs> but again this is probably one of my my favorite pieces in his room hola 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 como estas vamos a bailar <laughs> This is our dining area. I really love this space. I feel like it's a space where I wanted to play around a little bit and it's still a little bit of a work in progress. We always say this house is like Grand Central Station. We have people in and out constantly. So actually why I have you, anybody who's seen any more of these chairs, I need to. So 
these are vintage, but I'm like struggling to find the last two that are remaining. But anyways, we spend most of our time here in the kitchen. My husband loves to cook and obviously with our son, um, the older he's getting now, it's so fun to sit him here in his high chair and, you know, be in the kitchen with us cooking. And it's just, you know, really made this house feel like a home. So a friend of ours who painted our room, I told her in this kitchen, I was just like, let's have a lot of fun with it. And I showed her a few pictures for inspiration and I told her to just go a little crazy, which she did. And I really love that it adds a bit of, you know, something different and it's an art piece at the end of the day. And we just wanted something quite fun um, in our kitchen to bring a little life to it. So this room, I absolutely love first and foremost because it's right off the garden, which, you know, I love that on a really beautiful day, you can just open the doors and be in and out. I wanted this whole space to be pretty much all green and then, you know, be able to have more of like an indoor outdoor space here. What I really love also about this space is this Alba sofa from, from West Wing. When I saw it and I saw the color, I just thought it was really beautiful and warm and kind of went really well with having more so outdoor indoor feel. And I loved the shape. I thought it was really elegant. Out here, I feel like it's a little oasis, but I've been, I think I've a frustrated gardener in a past life, I'm not sure. But I've absolutely loved, you know, bringing in different types of of greenery into the space. But I wanted it to have almost like more of like a wild, like really lots of growth and green everywhere and random bursts of colors. My husband and I love to entertain and for us it's super important to be able to have a space where we can fully do that and have all of our loved ones. And I feel like being out here is, you know, exactly where we'll be doing that all summer long, having our friends and everything here. In your space, you want it to feel like a home, you know, bringing a child into your house already gives it that kind of feel, but I want this to be somewhere special for him, you know, where he feels calm and, uh, you know, have the same upbringing that both Carlos and I have as well. So I think bringing that into our home is super important. Dubs? Dubs?